Welcome to Ucanic. Today we have a 2013 Tesla Model S. On this vehicle, we're going to show you how to change out your front brakes and rotors. So, to start with, you're going to want to raise the vehicle. You're going to want to jack it up in the appropriate jacking spots and then be able to support it on jack stands. So, this vehicle, for the jack spots, there's the three little uh, dots. That's where you jack it up and then be able to get the jack stands on there. You don't want to jack it up anywhere under there because that's all the battery. So then when it's um, jacked up and supported, then you can remove your front tire and have access to your brake um, caliper and the rotor component here. So front tire removed. Now we have these um, Brembo style um, brake calipers. And so we need to spread them out and we can do this really easy. No tools or no special tools, just a good um, screwdriver and a pry bar. Now these are a, a dual piston or a, on a piston here, piston here and here. So I guess four piston, but dual pistons on each side. And so you need to kind of push them. You got to push them both back as you push the top and push the bottom. And we also have the steering wheel turned a little bit to the left so that you can have full access. So we got that one pushed there. And see now, you can see that as we're pushing the back one here, the front one is coming out. So we'll have to just re-push that one. to get it all fully pushed back. So the only thing where we, we don't want to bend those unless, um, because these are the, the rods that hold the, the brakes in there. But anything else, is what is being replaced so I think we're good there so our calipers have been pushed back and now we need to knock these pins out that hold them in there so taking a punch Right. We got them started out and now if we take our either our screwdriver or our pry bar we're going to kind of hold it down a teeny bit to get that spring off of there and then we can use a smaller style punch to just be able to uh, push those out and they should come out fairly easy. If not you may have to use some more hammer action and we only had to do that on the top. And so now the bottom one should just slide out there also. There we go. And then you can just pull your brakes out. They're not generally that tight. So we got a little bit of gunk, make sure that we clean up on the bottom and top side here so that our new brakes will be able to slide in there and we want them to be a little bit enough uh, loose that as you push the brakes they move in and out for stopping power. Just using a little brake uh, clean. You don't have to, but it helps keep the dust down of the uh, from the brake pads. So now, um, one of the next things, or another thing, is we want to get this bolt out for the uh, the rotor itself, and that was the T45. And then we have the two bolts on the back here to hold the caliper on 
and those are a uh, 20, no, they're an 18. So we got that removed, and now we can just uh, hold this up with a, a hanger, just so that we don't have a lot of pressure on our brake line. That's what we're doing. And now we need to get our, uh, our rotor off. Right, so after working around and rotating this around and hanging with a hammer, um, we were able to get this to come free from the rust and corrosion that has been holding it on there. We can set that aside. Now, again, just using a little brake clean to keep the dust down. And I wanna clean this hub off a little bit. of that rust and corrosion so that when we put our new one on and then we need to take that one off it won't be as uh, stuck on here and while we're at it we'll go ahead and clean the uh, little bottom channels here and the top channel where our brakes slide in on our caliper Right, so taking our new rotor, we need to line up where the hole is. So that we can put our set screw in. And if you don't put the set screw in, it's not the end of the world. Because it's really this there for alignment. If your set screw, if you had to drill it out, you can always just put a lug nut on here to hold it on. It's an alignment. It's there for assembly. All right. So just snugging this up. And that's literally all you got to do. Snug it up. Nothing crazy. And now we're able to put our caliper unit back on. Being able to just bring it down and around. We have our eight size 18 millimeter bolts on the back side. Put those through. Right, so those are on there tight, holding them in place. And now we need our new brake pads. And we just take our brake pads and slide them in. With our friction material toward Right, so we got our brake pad slid in there with our friction material toward the front there. We can put our bottom pin in or top pin, whichever one you want. And we just press these in. Then when you get it all the way in and aligned there, just give it a good tap to put the little collar 
the lock piece in there. So that's um, in there. The way that they have this little snap ring piece at the back and this uh, gets smaller and then expands and a little indent in there and that's how they stay in mainly. Um, besides the friction with the spring piece that we're going to put on. So then we have our, our spring piece here. We put on, we bend it, and then repeat the uh, pin going through up here at the top. There we go. And so that is uh, the replacement of our front brakes and rotors. Repeat the process for the other side on your 2013 Tesla Model S. Thanks for watching Nucanic, where you can be the mechanic.